Hello, today I'm going to show you how to carry out a titration with indicator. The items you will need are a burette, a burette holder, a white tile, a funnel, conical flask, indicator, acid, alkali, pipette filler and a pipette. You need to make a table of results which will record the starting volume, the ending volume, the total volume for each of your trials. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my acid in the burette. I've all already rinsed all of my glassware with distilled water and allowed it to dry and I have rinsed my burette with acid. I've put an empty beaker underneath to catch the acid as I let it through the nozzle. This is to get rid of any air bubbles and to make sure the whole burette is full. I put acid in so it's just above the zero mark. Remove the funnel, then slowly let the acid out until the meniscus is sitting on that zero mark. And then I'm ready to start. I'm now going to put 25 centimetres cubed of my alkali into a conical flask using a pipette filler. drawing up the alkali until the meniscus of the solution is sitting on the 25 centimetres cubed line and then I will transfer it into a conical flask. Now I'm going to add a couple of drops of indicator. I'm using phenolphthalein. Which turns pink in alkali. Put that under my burette. And I have a white tile underneath, which will allow me to see the colour change much more clearly. So for my starting trial, my rough, what I do is I'm going to empty the burette using a slow but steady drops of acid, swilling at all points until the indicator changes. So for this indicator, I'm waiting for the solution to go colourless. When that happens, I will stop the acid running into the conical flask. And my reaction has now gone to completion. So my rough volume of acid is 23 0.4 centimetres cubed. 
So that's my rough, so I know about where the neutralisation happens. So I'm going to reset up and then I can do my real trials but I know about where the neutralisation happens. I set up my burette with the acid in it up to the zero. I have put another 25 centimetres cubed of my alkali and some drops of indicator into my conical flask. So I'm now ready to do another titration. My rough took me down to 23.4. So I'm going to allow a steady stream until I get to 20. I've gone down to 20 centimetres cubed. So I know now that I'm near where that neutralisation is going to happen. So from now I'm going to do it drop by drop, very slowly drop by drop, and making sure I'm continually swirling. That way when I see that the colour is about to change, I can stop it running in drop by drop, and I can manually enter one drop at a time swirling between each. So I know I'm getting near now. So I've turned off my acid for a minute. I'm going to give it a good swirl. I have half a drop sitting um, at the end of my purette. So I'm just going to rinse that down with a little bit of distilled water. As that half drop will already have been taken into account in my volume. So I'm now going to put it in a drop at a time and making sure that I give it a good swirl in between each drop. This will give me the most accurate volume of acid that I can have. Again, if there's a little half drop, I'll give it a little rinse down. benefit of having this tile here is I can see that it's still got a slight pink colour so I am going to put one more drop in and I'm going to do that again as it is still slightly pink. Half a drop is left so I'll rinse that in and there. It has now gone completely colourless so my volume is 22.5 centimetres cubed. I will repeat that three times um, and then take an average of my volumes to get my mean volume for titration for these two solutions. And then I can use that to get my concentration of my unknown. So my unknown in this particular one is my acid, and I can use that in the calculation to work out the concentration of my acid. Thank you.